Hi, school family friends. It's Mrs. Nair reporting to you from her home in Stone Arabia. Today, I want to talk to you about keeping it safe while you are staying at home. And even though staying at home kind of may seem like a block to connection and contribution, it can actually provide a wonderful opportunity to build unity and compassion and caring within our families. So on my computer here, I have created a list of activities that you can do to shift your perspective from I can't to I can and I will and we can do this together. So here we go. The first thing, of course, is to stay at home, to help flatten that curve. Stay at your home, social distancing, keeping your distance from people is super important. The next thing you could do is play reporter. You can interview family members asking questions about things that they did when they were your age. Uh, the next thing you could do, which was one of my favorites, is you can hold a whole family sock matching party. And what you could do is all those mismatched socks that seem to disappear when they go into the washing machine, you can look to try to match them up and then you could make sock puppets out of the ones that you can't find the match for. Uh, the next thing you could do is share a hug. You could stretch out your arms against a long piece of paper you can tape smaller pieces of paper together to make a big sheet. Trace around your arms and your hands, and you can cut that out, make a silhouette, and you could post it on your door or outside on your porch and giving hugs to friends and neighbors as they go by. You can write or draw things that you are grateful for and post it with your parents' permission on your bathroom mirror. Another thing that I love to do is you can paint rocks and you can actually hide them around the house with little messages for your family to find them. Um, another thing that you can do is you could make and mail cards. For each card meant for a loved one, you could make one to send to a hospital or assisted living, nursing home, and you could put those in the mail and that's a nice way to be able to spread cheer. Um, and then something really simple that you could do is just to ask someone in your house what can I do to help you right now? Especially mom and dad, you have to remember, they have multiple jobs to do. They have a job to take care of you. Their job is to make sure that you're doing your schoolwork, but they also have a job outside of the home that they're now having to do most likely inside of the home. So you wanna give your parents um, that grace to say, how can I be helpful to you right now? Another thing you could do is you could hold a whole wide car cleanup where the whole family gets together and cleans out the car. The car can be a catch-all for lots of things, and this would be a great opportunity for you to help clean up everything in the car. And with that being said, you could also go through your toys and your clothes with mom's permission and set them aside to donate to help to others. Um, again, a lot of things I've been seeing on social media is you could use chalk to make sidewalk art and write inspiring messages for your neighbors. And speaking of neighbors, you could have a porch wide um, party where everybody in your neighborhood would stay on their porch or on their lawn, because again, we're practicing social distancing. You could play music. You could talk really loudly across the street or to one another to have a conversation. And so these are just some things that you can do to help promote connectedness and compassion and caring in your home. And remember, from my family to yours, we are wishing you well. And remember, be a star. Have a great day.